Guys, I finally did it. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Yes, I bought the Speed Editor and with it, I now finally own a DaVinci Resolve Studio License. It, it, it was time. <laughs> Let me show you two reasons why I think that it's worth the upgrade. Cool, here we are now in DaVinci Resolve Studio 17. Let's click this away, we don't need it. And please pay attention to this area of my video frame here. Actually, let me zoom this in for you so you can see it a little better, like so. And now I click on play and watch what happens. I really hope you can see that it is flickering. I'm not sure though, because YouTube compression. And hey, if you don't see it, just believe me, it is flickering and that's not good. I don't want that. We have to do something about it. Well, luckily we can because in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, I can now simply use one of their filters called Deflicker. I just drag it onto my footage and that's basically it in this case. If I would have to change something, then I could easily do this over here in the effects section of the inspector. Here is my deflicker effect. Pretty easy to use, if you ask me. I absolutely love that it comes with Resolve by default and that I do not have to install any plugins to, to make stuff like this work. Yes, I know there are plugins like this one, for example. And while it is a good plugin, it, it really is. It costs 200 and $50 almost. Just add the price for Premiere and After Effects on top of that and that makes the 300 bucks for the Speed Editor plus DaVinci Resolve Studio look like nothing. Well, not nothing, but you get the point. Next thing. Oftentimes we want to separate our foreground from the background just to give it a little extra punch in the grading process. Let's do this now. I jump over into the color tab and here on my first node, I just give it a little bit of contrast and I lower the saturation. Not much, just like so. I like this. Okay, now I create a second node, Alt S. And in this second node, I now want to play around with something called the magic mask. Here it is, that's the magic mask tap. And now I just have to draw a line here and boom, there you have a mask already looking pretty good. Let me track it forwards. And of course we also have to track it backwards. It honestly feels pretty similar to rotoscoping in After Effects. Just not in After Effects, it's right inside of DaVinci Resolve which is pretty cool. And of course, it's not perfect, but like always, we can do something about that. For example, this little section here, I can just remove it by holding Alt and clicking on it. That takes care of that problem. And here we have our next problem, but now let's change the quality from faster to better. That might solve this one for us. And voila, it did. Pretty cool, right? And I mean, you watched me doing this right now. It's really that simple. Just a few clicks and you have an automatically created mask that looks pretty decent. And the more love you put into it, the better it looks. Like here, for example, I can add this hand back in or yeah. Overall, what I like best is the simplicity in this technique. It's super easy to do, it can save tons of time in post, and that time can be spent with much more fun stuff than rotoscoping, let's be honest. Let me turn off the mask here and this blue line, now it's looking pretty. And now just to prove that it's really working, 
Ta-da. I'm pink. And there's nothing you can do about that. Huh? All right, my friends, that is it for this video. I, like always, really hope you liked it. If so, if not, why not? Let me know. Stay clean, stay healthy, stay motivated. And I see you in my next video. Bye for now.